don't even know how to start this anymore. Hello, hi friends. Hello, hi friends. Hopefully I already filmed an intro. She did not. So I am gonna try to start knitting the blanket today. I'm just so distracted trying to start this because we're on this really cool drive and it's this, the coolest roads and the coolest little properties. We drove by an ostrich farm. Ostriches! And of course, my skin's been fine the entire time that I've been back into Hatchby and it's only when I start trying to do YouTube again that I get a breakout. Let's get started trying to do a cast on for my temperature blanket, my knitted temperature blanket. I adjusted the uh, parameters, the temperature gauge a little bit just because I realized that what I had wasn't gonna work out so well. So as you can see, I changed it from 20 under, basically anything under 40 degrees to a, anything under 40 to 50 degrees being this oatmeal color and then 50 to 60 being brown heather. So I just did 10 degree increments and then the five. Woo. <laughs> So hopefully we'll have a bit more color variation uh, in this blanket. What's on the side of the road? Wow. Little baby. Oh, little two baby. Baby. You're two babies. Two baby cows. Okay, I've watched YouTube videos and TikTok videos and I think I know how to knit. This is my little yarn bag. Of course it has caps on it. Okay, I have my uh, extended knits. Knit hook, not hooks, knit needles. The month started at 53 degrees, so that means I'm using brown heather. So we are going to try to cast on. Okay, so starting with a slip knot, I believe. Know how to do that. And the uh, stitch heirlooms that I got this pattern and this idea from. Um, she did 365 stitches cast on so I am going to do that and I may very much regret it. doing <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna wrap that around here and then oh how do I pull this through whoa that is a long gap okay. and then I'm just gonna pull through this way and then Oh, everything is so tight, I don't know how to like slip this off. Okay. There's such nice views of land right here. Uh -huh. I think I did it. We had cut the yarn from my last row and what I used to cut my yarn, and I've taken it on planes and it never gets confiscated, is cat nail clippers. I mean, it literally has a yarn shaped hole in it. So that's what I'm gonna use to cut this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the ends yet. The girl before, she did tassels. I don't know if I'll do tassels, we will find out. But I think I know what I'm doing. So this is the first time I'm actually like wrapping yarn around my fingers because I normally can't stand that when I'm crocheting, but when I'm knitting, so far, I think it's what I like to do. Okay, go over, pull this. Oh wow, you're knitting. I'm knitting. I don't think I've seen you knit yet. I haven't knit before. This is your first time? <laughs> I've knitted when I was 10 and I attempted a scarf and it did not work. Like this is your first time knitting right here right now? Yeah, I know. Oh, we're driving? Yeah, it's a bold move. I know. It's really nice looking yarn. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Decided to do a little pull out here on the side of the road because there's a creek back there. We're gonna just do a little walk down. Fan of pull outs here. So I will. 
I should not be trying to have Oh, I don't think I can climb this rock <laughs> There's a waterfall down there Okay, I'm home now. Um, around 4.30, I decided to stop, cro uh, not crocheting, knitting, uh, because it was starting to get dark. So this is as far as I got, so just two rows, really. I'm definitely realizing just how much I am behind. Um, so Brian is working on trying to figure out what to pack for his tour trip that he's doing job and everything and i'm just gonna be cro uh, not crocheting i keep saying this i'm gonna be knitting while he's packing so we're just gonna do that Okay, I've done uh, two stitches and I feel like I'm, I'm already doing it wrong. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick little YouTube tutorial really quick and make sure I know what I'm doing. The top stitch on the left hand needle. But instead of then knitting through the back of the loop, you simply just slip that stitch off onto the right hand needle. Okay, I think I understand, um, but at the same time, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. But I feel like as long as it doesn't come undone, that's really what matters. So uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Day two. So I dropped Brian off at the airport this morning. We left crazy early at like 5.30 this morning. So I'm home now. Uh, I have the day off because I thought I was gonna be in LA all day. So I'm just gonna sit here and do some more knitting. So far, this is looking really cool. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So I just realized I, uh, I luckily just started this row, but um, I am already doing it wrong. I missed a knit in my notes, I guess. Um, so I'm going to back knit. Haven't done that before. Haven't even looked at tutorials on how to do it. I'm just using my woman's intuition to try to figure that out. So hopefully it works. <laughs> I did it! I went back to the spot that I messed up. Did I? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, cool! <laughs> okay, it's been a couple days since my last clip. 
Um, I don't actually know when the last clip was. Haven't been able to work on the blanket since the last clip. Cause you know, work, life. I did some pretty rad tattoos the past couple days, which were super cool. Uh, if you have Instagram, you can check out my tattoo Instagram account. And then I've also been working on beanies. I make beanies that we can sell at the shop. And then I had a friend commission me to make him a beanie. And I love it. I think it's super cool. But I have a day off today. Did some cleaning, clean up the Airstream a little bit, and we're gonna work on this blanket and get some more done. So this might be the last part of this video that I do making the blanket. Obviously it's a year long temperature blanket. So I'm gonna be continuing to work on it the entire time, but I'm gonna see how much more of this row I can get done. So check back with you. I am, but we just don't have the same priorities right now. Uh -huh. Maybe we won't ever. I, I don't know. I truly don't know. Jail and Hawaii. So amazing. Those are your choices. You know what? I'll figure it out. Okay, so really quick, as you guys know, I'm typically a crocheter and this is really like my first knitting project. I think I did already mentioned that. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing these stitches right. So I think it's more of that thing where like, like I'm doing the wrong equation, but I'm getting the right answer. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing and then you guys can let me know if you're doing the same thing or if you're doing it a little bit different. I really only watch two YouTube videos on how I do this, so. Okay, so this pattern, as you might be able to see, calls for knit stitches and slip stitches. Uh, yarn in back and yarn in front for these slip stitches. Sorry, I'm gonna be shaking the table trying to do this. Um, so I'm just gonna show you right now, I'm on a yarn in front slip stitch. So I am taking the yarn. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking the table so much. And I am putting it in front here. Okay, right. Oh my gosh, I think I have to burn too far down. So the yarn's now in front. And then I have this needle going underneath this here, like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at adjectives. And I just kind of slip it off. And then the yarn's still in front behind that initial loop. So when I wrap it around, that little wrap is now around the loop that way. So that is how I'm doing the yarn in front. Slip stitches. Uh, yarn in back would be me basically just keeping the yarn in the back here and then going this way and slipping it off that way and then it would just be behind like this little this little wrap around piece would be behind it. So that's what I'm thinking a yarn in back slip stitch would be. And then knit stitches, my friend saw me do it once at work and she was like, oh, you do it differently. And I actually, I think she said, oh, you do it wrong. So I'm gonna take my right needle and put it underneath the loop and I put it in front. She said that she put it in the back and then we basically did the same thing afterwards, but it gets the same result either way. So let me know what you guys do. And then yarn around and then pull it under and now yarn off. I don't know if that's the terms that you guys use as knitters, but that's what I've been doing. So yeah, that is, that's how I've been doing this. Um, let me know how you guys are doing it. Cause not that I think it's gonna really affect the look of the blanket or really matter, but uh, if I continue knitting and making other projects, I wanna make sure that I'm actually doing things correctly, so. <laughs> Maybe I should watch more YouTube videos. Okay, thank you. 
Today is June 13th, and I started filming all of that February 1st. And guess how far along I am in my temperature blanket, my knit temperature blanket so far. I am currently on February 20th, and I started this months ago. So if you needed a little encouragement or discouragement, I guess, <laughs> with doing a temperature blanket, this is it. This is where I'm at so far. Don't even ask me about my crochet temperature blanket. That will be another video, probably in another few months. <laughs> but yes, hello. The first part of this video was filmed in February. As you can see, I attempted to do something and get back on YouTube. Clearly did not do it that well, but here I am, I'm back. So yes, I have been working on my knit temperature blanket. It's been a lot of fun. This thing looks dope. I am so stoked with how it's turning out so far. It is going to be nice and very warm. It's going to be so very warm. This thing is sturdy. I don't know if it's just because of the way that I guess that I knit or if that's just the way that it's going to look. Look at all of these color variations. I love it. I think that's the front and then this is the back. I, it's kind of hard for me to tell but I like this side better because you can actually see a bit more colors. But that's kind of it for this little knitting vlog. The speed that I'm going now is a lot faster, still pretty slow compared to some of the other videos I've seen of people actually knitting. Obviously, I'm not even done through February and I've been working on this almost every other day, it feels like. But thank you guys for sticking around this far and I really appreciate you guys. Um, you can hit me up on some social medias. I have actually some time off this month, so I have plans of doing other videos plans, hopes, aspirations, and dreams right in here in my handy dandy notebook. Uh, so we'll see if any of it actually comes into fruition. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you guys so very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I genuinely don't even know how to talk to a camera anymore. This is still my phone, not even a camera, and it still feels very awkward. I'm like... Should I be professional or should I just be me? It's kind of like going out into society for the first time in a long time. Yeah. YouTube's my real society.